What do male rats and dating apps have in common? More than you might think. Let's dive in. Scientists have been choosing rats as subjects for their experiments for over a century now. Hence the phrase, a lab rat. And this is mainly because rats share about 85% of their genome with humans. This genetic similarity makes them a very good model for conducting research, whose findings can then reveal insights about Homo sapiens, us. I came across three such fascinating studies that explain so much about male behavior on dating apps today. In the first study, 25 male rats were each paired with an estrus or in-heat female rat. Under observation, the male rats were then allowed to copulate with the female rat until they reached the point of sexual exhaustion, a point at which they could no longer mate. At this point, the researchers then replaced the old female rat with a new estrus female. And what happens next is astonishing. The researchers found that on introducing a new female rat, the previously exhausted male rat dug into their reserves of energy and resumed copulation with the new female. But wait, what's most important is that this did not happen when the researchers simply reintroduced the original female after a while. This only happened when a new female was introduced into the cage. What does this study tell us? It tells us that novel stimuli plays a very important role in igniting sexual behavior. But why does novelty alone play such a significant role? The answer lies in our brains or in a neurotransmitter you often hear of, dopamine. The second study conducted the same experiment. Everything was the same, but this time they measured the dopamine levels of the rats. And we find that the first time that the male rats start to copulate, the dopamine levels spike naturally. And when they reach the point of sexual exhaustion, the dopamine levels come back down to baseline, an indicator that the male rats are no longer motivated to mate. But then something incredible happens. When the new female rat is introduced, the researchers found that the dopamine levels of the male rats spiked again to the same levels as before. And this enabled the male rats to resume copulation. When I read this, I was amazed. This means that our brain's reward system is rigged to seek new stimulus. At this point, I couldn't help but wonder, do any of these findings apply to homo sapien males, men as we know them? And this led me to the third study. Here, a set of participants, about 350 men and women, were given a hypothetical scenario where they were asked to distribute sexual encounters amongst a group of potential partners. The aim of the study was to see whether participants preferred to have all encounters with the same individual or distribute them among different individuals. The results were striking. Men across all age groups and all attractiveness scores consistently showed a higher preference for sexual variety than women. And they were more likely to choose a new partner over a familiar one. There's two key behaviors where I see this effect playing its part today. Dating apps and porn. Let's talk about dating apps first. Men are known to spend hours swiping left and right on dating apps today and it all makes more sense to me now. You see, each new swipe introduces the possibility of a new match, a new stimulus, triggering those small dopamine hits, very similar to what the rats experience on the introduction of a new female. This keeps the users hooked, constantly seeking that next match. The same concept applies to pornography. Online porn behavior has a pattern. Users don't watch entire videos. They skip to the good parts and also they watch multiple videos in a single session. New videos provide continuous new stimulus and this keeps the users hooked. What does this tell us? It tells us that men on dating apps today exhibit the same behaviors as lab rats. They're both suckers for novelty. I love finding the whys behind the common behaviors seen around us today. It just helps me understand the world that I live in better. And if you found these insights as fascinating as I did, make sure to hit the subscribe button. There's a lot more to uncover. I'll see you in the next one.